Well, it's time. I've got two seals here. I probably need to check my emails again and see which one goes where. But both of these, or possibly, fingers crossed, one of these, is what needs to be replaced to stop my rear differential front pinion housing from leaking. Because it's spraying oil <clears throat> all over my brake cans and it's leaking oil. Not too badly, but I think I don't know if you could pick it up on camera, but there's a little bit of an oil stain there. A wrench! A wrench! <laughs> nice. I didn't even know I lost that for the record. Uh, yeah, keep in mind, I am not an expert and I really don't know what I'm doing. But I've seen people do this on YouTube, just like you guys are doing right now. Um, there is a special tool that you can use that pushes this apart. And instead of buying said tool, I fought this U-joint for the next four hours. In the end, the fight was a stalemate. I wasted my time and the U-joint was ruined, along with the replacement U-joint I purchased. The U-joint tool cost half of what I paid for two new U-joints. So here's the lesson. When you're doing something you've never done before, and a tool that can help you do that thing that you've never done before exists, buy it. Maybe even rent or borrow it, but just get it. Now here's a quick montage of me struggling. But also I've seen people just whack it. Pro, it's gonna be loud. This went on for another 20 seconds. You get the point, I got the bolt out. It's actually spinning it. Yeehaw! Well, I'm glad I've got that. Okay. So... That seal looks good. I don't believe it was the seal. I really should have bought the seal while I'm here. Maybe I will, I think I've got time. Because we've got a, a show in Mukunji in a couple weeks. All right, we'll leave that there. This, this I believe is what is damaged. That seems excessive. But at the same time, maybe once that, oh yeah. Yep, okay, sorry. So here, let's, uh, yeah, okay. Excessive, put the yoke on, you tighten it up. And then that, oh, so I'm going to have to figure out what the torque spec on that is because that tightens right up. So that's good. Uh, all right. A quick little tidbit for Volvo parts. Can you not put your part number label on top of Spicer's part number label? 
because I had to very, very closely look and read that this is a 5-280X in order to get my torque spec for the U-joint caps. Without that, I'm looking up 85102580, which is a Volvo number. Come on, guys. All right, I think that should be a good angle for you guys. Kidoki. Now, I do not know the torque spec on this. I'll be honest. But all I do know is I had that half inch DeWalt impact with a full five amp hour, amp hour battery on that for a good 15, 20 seconds before it started to move. So that's my plan. I'm not putting the truck back together completely today. I'm gonna to do this and then stop. I will look it up, I'll post online, I'll see if someone knows the torque spec on it. What I will say is, how tight I make this bolt adjusts, I don't know if the word is preload, but it adjusts that bearing. So bearing's tight, it's good right now, but I don't know if that bolt was really tight or the Loctite was very good. So I'm going to go tight now, I'm not going to run it, and then I'll look it up online. And there you have it. New U-joint installed, new O-ring installed. Uh, I still have to top up the fluid in the rear differential. But uh, again, I wanna say, if they make a tool that's gonna help you out and make your life easier, just buy the tool. Diesel Creek always says it. Don't pay the stupid mm -hmm. tax. A huge thank you to the Palmer Municipal Fire Department, Palmer Township, Pennsylvania. They, gosh, look at that quiller. Uh, yeah, they allowed us the use of uh, their hose washer and the bays to get the hose beds dumped and clean and to give the rig a wash before we headed down to the country for the annual truck show. We had a great time there. A lot of people were there. It was a huge showing. We had a little snafu on the way. Uh, I looked down at the temperature gauge and we were overheating big time. What had happened was both of our fan belts had blown off somewhere. Uh, we were able to get the truck to the show, get to a nap, but get the parts and replace off. it. Here's a quick uh, clip of that. <laughs> Daryl, how many people are watching us right now? Uh, we're almost into double digits, and it's only 37. <laughs>